सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल ऑफ बीट एनेक्स एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग रियली वेल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू इमेजिन अ स्मॉल सिचुएशन इमेजिन यू स्टार्ट योर वर्क ओपन योर ई मेल एंड यू सी दिस फ्रॉम योर बोस आस्किंग सी अटैचमेंट एंड प्रोवाइड क्विक समरी हाउ टू बैक वॉज डूइंग एंड समथिंग आई शुड नो यू ओपन द अटैचमेंट एंड यू थिंक यू नो वॉट लेट मी क्विकली गेट दिस आउट द वे बिफोर आई ग्रैब अ कॉफी यू नो वॉट मेक्स इट क्विक एंड पेनलेस इट्स दिस फीचर एनालाइज डेटा इन एक्स इट्स दिस फीचर एनालाइज डेटा इन एक्सेल इट्स सिटिंग राइट हेयर ऑन द होम टैप एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट सेम फीचर एंड दैट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो हाउ टू यूज एनालाइज डेटा इन एक्सेल एंड ए आई क्रिएट्स प्राइवेट टेबल्स एंड चार्ट विल लर्न ऑल्सो अबाउट दैट सो गाइज लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो बिफोर मूविंग अहेड इन द वीडियो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू नो दैट वी हैव एन एम एस ऑफिस ए आई टूल्स वर्कशॉप that is just available for 9 rupees you can check that out the link is in the description and let's continue the video working professionals are you using excel power bi powerpoint or word in your day to day life what if i tell you that you are wasting 95% of your time while you are doing so how so you will be asking me because you are not using chat gpt and ai tools while doing all of these work So here, if you see, this is my data set. Let's just check how many rows of data we have. Just a little over two hundred rows, and each column has a header. So we have a category, render, date, and cost. So for date, we are collecting the data on monthly basis, and we get to see the first of every month here. Now, if I was going to create a pivot table on this, I would have to think: where do I need to go and insert a pivot table? What do I need to drag the rows? What should I drag? the values or columns it's a lot of thinking involved especially if it's in the morning thankfully we have analyzed data so all i have to do is come here and select analyze data it's picked up the correct range and i get to ask it a question about my data if i am not sure what to ask i can try one i can try one of these options or i already get some suggestions here it tell me it tells me cost by date i could insert this as a pivot table i have the data here and the sum of the cost my numbers also look like they have perfect formatting down here i get cost by category i could just insert this pivot chart and it's going to insert it on a separate sheet here i have some additional insight so for when the treasury wine state cost decreases over the time well this could be interesting for my boss i wasn't i was not specifically looking for this also for this winter cost decreases over time and i can also go to show or more and get more insights from my data maybe find out something that is going to surprise me and something that i mean that i might need to follow up on but right now i don't need to worry about this because my boss has just asked for a summary this is a good summary to have so let's insert a pivot table and see what we get we got a new tab date and sum of cost so i'm going to change that to be the total cost now now i also know that my boss is interesting in finding out what's the average cost is since i already have my pivot table and i have my layout right here it's quite easy to do that all i have to do is grab cost and drop it the values over here so i have it two times here and for the second time i want it to show the average average value so i'll just rename it to that so i'm just going to click on to go to average change this to average cost and click on all i have to do is click on okay and all i have to do is update the formatting right click number format number use a thousand separator and that's it we are done now what about the chart that was interesting as well because we want to take a look at the cost by our category 2 so that's the one i want but i would like it to be the average cost per category so let's see if we can ask it to specifically create that chart for us average cost by category i think that should do yeah we have got our pivot chart now what if i wanted it as another chart type so what if i said as a column chart does that work yeah that works as well so this is better let me just insert it i get a new tab with the pivot table that's the underlying data for my chart i am just going to cut this and paste it here So before moving ahead in the video I just want to have a small talk with you nowadays you all might know that AI has taken over the world in just a short span of time and we have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by AI and what not and I believe that you don't want to get affected by this recession wave right well I can assure you that AI won't replace you but the person using AI will surely so if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career Join our three hours MS Office AI Tools workshop in which in which we'll teach you about the best AI tools to upskill yourself in using MS Office, increase your productivity in that, and also enhance your career. And let's continue the video. I'll probably hide this in the end. Let's just quickly update it so it's clear. This is the average cost by category. Now, what if you also want a line chart here? Let's go back. Let's just type in cost and let's see if it understands. Well, it's giving me some specific things: cost over months. Yeah, that's better. That's what I want. So let's go and insert the pivot chart as well, and we could grab that and bring it over to our summary sheet. 
right so you will have to format this accordingly if you need to let me also click let me also quickly clean things up i'm going to control x and that bring it here and so all the data is in one place and i'm just going to remove this now what about specific insight so if we go back here let's look at tobacco so i'm just going to type in this tobacco it's actually easier to pick it from here then to type it in and let's go with the insight and for the category tobacco february had the maximum cost yeah this is definitely something my boss would be interested in the cool thing is that it's also conditionally formatted by highlighting all the maximum points here all i have to do is insert the pivot chart and i have it right here what about if we wanted the vendor as well so let's go and see tobacco vendor cost breakdown and okay spell that wrong but it still got it and looks sorted as well what if i wanted to sort it the other way around let's do sorted ascending that works as well and let's insert a pivot table here's our report the category tobacco was already added as a filter to our uh, the category tobacco was already added as a filter to our pivot table how great is that now what about some specific insight so let's go back and ask for cost insights actually we see it right here so let's just select that insights for cost that what we saw before as well so let's just add some of these i even got frequency of cost and this one is interesting what if i wanted to so what if i wanted to see the vendors that have a cost above a certain threshold let's see if we can get this done vendors with cost higher than 7 million it picked up the 7 million corrective so all i have to do is insert the pivot table and then insert some of the other ones that i got from the inside and my task is done now you might be wondering are these dynamics so you know so you know so now you might be wondering what are these dynamics so if my data change so if now you might be wondering are these dynamic data so if my data changes here is everything going to change well let's try it well let's try it out i am going to i am going to go to food here let's change one of these numbers and i'll just add an extra zero okay so here it tells me it looks like your data is changing and it's reanalyzing my data so that's just great i don't have to do any specific type of refresh but i but if i want my pivot tables to update as well i have to do a refresh so where was that for food right if i just update it here so just that we can visually see it changes i am going to refresh this and it changes but it's not only changes the table it's all the other tables that were created as well so this one changed as well so did all my other pivot charts now if you want to add date to the bottom of this it's best if you format your data set here as an official excel table this way your pivot tables will automatically update the moment you refresh and you don't have to update your range isn't that amazing with just a few clicks we get to create a functional report all right that's one place ai can help us analyze data and use it and let me know and guys that is it for this video if you like the video don't forget to leave a like drop a comment if you have any doubt and also don't forget to subscribe b10x and do remember we have an ai tools workshop that is just available for 9 rupees on excel and ai and do check that out the link is in the description and i'll see you in the next video bye bye